In this video, I'm going to show you how to download all of your Facebook photos, even the photos that you're tagged in, which surprisingly is not a feature built into Facebook at this time. So what I did was I wrote a Python script to automatically do this for you, for your profile, not only the pictures that you've uploaded, but also the pictures that you're tagged in, as well as any of your friends' photos that they've uploaded and photos that they're tagged in, as well as any pretty much any public profile on Facebook you can do the same thing so I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how to do that so let's go ahead and do that and hey by the way this is Tony from the future if you can tell by the beard and the different background basically I made some code changes to the project since recording that introduction to make the tool easier for you I'm still gonna walk you through it and yeah let's go ahead and do that now so um, the repository is at github.com slash tonyflow slash facebook dash download dash photos. And it basically shows you exactly what we're going to do here step by step. Uh, I'm going to walk you through it like I said. You're going to need Python 3, Git, and Google Chrome on your computer. I have videos for Mac and Windows how to install Python 3 and Git. Google Chrome, that's an easy one. You just download it from their website. Um, Otherwise, we can start executing some commands. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to open up a terminal window here and start executing some commands. So uh, basically, we're going to make a Python virtual environment. And this Python virtual environment is going to help us contain all of our code so it doesn't interfere with the rest of your system. So to do that, Python 3-mvenv. And then in your home directory, you're going to make a folder called env and store our virtual environment called FB for Facebook. And once that's done, create it, we can activate that with source and then the path to the virtual environment, bin, activate, hit enter. And now we are in our virtual environment, as you can tell by here. If this is going over your head, don't worry. Um, it's, it's really cool stuff. I'm just not gonna explain it in this video. All right, anyway, now let's go ahead and upgrade our version of pip just to make sure we have it. Pip is a package manager. Not sure if you care or not. Pip install dash dash upgrade pip. And I already have the latest, so we'll do a pip install selenium. And we can actually do the web driver manager at the same time. So um, that's gonna install these packages. Whoops. And if I could type spell right web driver M -A -N manager like that. Um, this is basically going to install some libraries, some Python libraries that we need to automate the process of downloading all your Facebook photos. Okay, and now the fun part. This is a GitHub repository. It's a bunch of code. It's actually just one file, one Python file, download.py. We can download that onto our computer by copying this command and pasting it in. This is where you need the git command installed. And that's basically going to download all of that uh, code onto our computer. Okay. And we can go into that directory, CD, Facebook, download photos. And there is that same exact uh, set of files. All right. Let's go ahead and download some Facebook photos. It's super simple. Like I said, uh, basically we can copy and paste this or type it in. I'll, I'll type it in just to explain it as we're doing it. So we're going to use Python. We're going to execute the download.py file, which we just downloaded from GitHub. And then we're going to pass it in our Facebook email. Okay, so my e uh, email address for Facebook is Tony that I used to log into Facebook. Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. And then the password that I used to log into Facebook. Um, as it's, this is not my actual password, I changed it for the purpose of this video. Um, so don't try to hack me. And that's actually not my email address for Facebook either. So not my actual password, but put your, put your actual password here. Um, this, this code does not collect any passwords or anything. It's, this is all run locally on your computer and you can, that's why the code is open source. So you can verify that. And then there's finally a dash a argument. And, um, there's basically, as you can see here, two different variations, Facebook photo albums of you and Facebook photos uh, by you. So this is the ones that you've been tagged in and this is the ones that you've uploaded. So let's do the first of all, let's do the ones that we have been tagged in. So with all the prerequisites, Git, Python and Chrome installed, we just hit enter and I'm going to minimize this. And as you see, this is all, ha I'm not doing anything. This typed in my username, my password. It's logging me into Facebook 
it is going to my profile page and then it's going to go into my photos and it's going to go to photos that I've been tagged in and it's going to download them automatically. And I want to, I want to show you guys that happening in real time. So I'm going to open up a, uh, a finder window, go into my doc, uh, my, uh, where is this at? my folder, Facebook download photos, and then they're all showing up in this photos directory. So we can see this happen in real time. There's four, five photos now, six. Uh, they're just gonna keep coming in until it gets through all the photos that you've been tagged in, and then it'll stop. So let's go ahead and fast forward through that. Okay, and that has just finished. It says it's downloaded 572 Facebook photos, and let's confirm that. Uh, let's see if there's 572 in here. And yes, indeed, there are 572 photos in here. And just take notice, um, it has the date of the original upload of the photo, and it says of me. So it's a, a photo that was I was tagged in, and then just a chronological number that um, it, in the order that it was downloaded. So, uh, like I said, there are uh, there's another option that you can do. You can do dash a instead of of you can do dash a by these are going to get the photos that you yourself have uploaded to facebook so your facebook uploads and then there's just one other option which i want to show you and that is you can specify a username you can download somebody else's facebook photos public facebook photos as long as you're either friends with them and the photo is public one of the two so let's let's do that let's um What's a username that we can use? Let's go ahead and download Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook photos. So his username is Zuck, as you can see here. Um, so what we have to do to change our command, we can keep the same thing, download.py, our email, our password. We'll get photos of uh, Mark Zuckerberg and then dash U for username and we'll just say Zuck, okay? And let's, let's go ahead and do that. So it's gonna do the same type of thing, open up the Chrome browser, log us into Facebook, and then go to our profile, go to Mark Zuckerberg's profile, and then start downloading his Facebook photos that he's been tagged in. So let's see that in action. Oh, he doesn't have any pictures uh, that people have tagged him in. They must all be photos that he uploaded. So let's try that. Same type of thing's gonna happen. Open up the Chrome web browser, log us into Facebook, and then opening his photos and loading his photos. There's a picture of, I guess, one of their new spaces in a data center in Utah. And same type of thing. It's gonna download all his photos. I don't really want his photos, um, so I'm gonna do Control C on my keyboard to get out of that. And let's see if we can see some of his photos in here. They're probably dated a lot more recent than mine. Yep, so here's his photos down at the bottom. Um, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So you get the idea. Uh, please let me know if you have any issues with the code, either on the GitHub comment section, the issue, there's an issue section there, uh, which I'll just show you here, um, or in the comments below. So here you can say something, how you're using it, and just let me know if you find this tool useful because I spent a lot of time making it um, and I want some people to get some value out of it, especially if they're deciding to get all of their data off of Facebook before deleting it, like I'm planning on doing. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video. Subscribe.